Ben Horner for Norwich Box, and here was A from Morris. Um, Hello, mate. Since last meeting to you, yeah. there's been a fight in between. Yeah. Um, obviously, the last time I really got to speak to you, it was sort of a bit of a downer, really. Like It was a draw, but yeah. things have gone up from there. Yeah, um, definitely. I've forgotten all about it. I say, oh, yeah, no, I've forgotten all about it. I mean, it was something I learned from. I used his ammo, and um, I've done exactly that in the last fight. And uh, come on from it, you know. I won't forget it, uh, 100%. You know, it's, it's made me fight the way I did in the last fight. So, you know, that, everything happened for a reason, all that, if, if you take it that way. So that's how I took it. I am, um, obviously, I've heard about the performance. Um, mm -hmm. and that's so, damned in you, you went there. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's going on? Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I was in America, you know, setting yeah. it up. Yeah. But, it's all right for some. Um, I'm not going to say what everyone's told me oh. until I've heard your opinion on the fight. Um, mm -hmm. Talk us through round by round. It's been a little while now. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Talk us through sort of round by round from what you can remember and. Yeah, from what I can remember. Um, well, I, I, I've said it to everyone. I mean, I, I felt good the day before. I felt good that day when I woke up. It was just one of them where everything just seemed to come together. Lovely. I woke up, felt lovely. Got got to the venue, felt really good in myself. Felt relaxed. Looking forward to the fight rather than anxious. Um, and yeah, as soon as soon as I walked out there, I. I kind of knew, I felt really good, you know, and I knew I was going to put a performance on and that he'd have to be on his top game to, you know, make it, make it really, really competitive, you know. And to be fair to him, he was dangerous, you know. He, he was winding up with a big right hook constantly um, and he was dangerous sort of coming out, he'd swing, you know, and I had to have my wits about me. And um, from round one, I, I sort of got that impression. Um, but I started nice behind my jab and um, was just letting the combos go nice and quick. Um, and, and just trying to do everything right, mate. You know, like I say, I'm, I, I was nowhere near a perfect performance, uh, not at all. I felt I saw a lot of things that I'd done wrong and all that. But I'm, I'm my own worst critic. I always am. And for the first time ever, I come out there and I was happy with what I'd done. You know, I, of course I was unhappy with certain things and all yeah. that. But I mean, I, I've got to the point now where I'm looking at it as I'm, I'm building up. I'm learning all the time. I'm getting better and better. And my opponents are getting better and better, so I've got to take it fight by fight, you know. And I come out there and I was, I was happy, mate. You know, really good. Exactly what I heard. Um, mm -hmm. The performance was probably the best performance of your life. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably agree with that. Um, yeah. You worked the body, you worked the head. Yeah, um, some lovely body shots. Um, if I was a little bit more experienced or if I just... I don't know. If I, I'm always cautious. I don't like rushing in, you know. I'm, I'm not a conservative boxer, but I... I'm a boxer, you know, I like to box. It's something we talk about. Whenever I yeah. speak to you about fights and whatever, I yeah. always say it's best to sort of go in there and win the fight instead of sort of trying to jump in. Yeah, definitely. Keep your head, you've got definitely. a box. It's but not then, a fight. But it's then not... there's, it's a learning curve, whereas you need to learn when you can really step on and get that person out of there. And I think if I'd have you know, really stepped on him, I, I probably could have got him out of there. No disrespect to the guy, I just, I just feel I had his number. You know, yeah, the, yeah. The, the shots to the body, they were really starting to take their toll. And if I'd have just stepped that up, doubled him up a bit and, you know, really let him out of it, I'd have... I'd, Definitely could have got him out of there. If it was another six rounds fighting the way I was fighting, if it was another two rounds, or a six round fight fighting the way I was fighting, I would have got him out of there anyway. Or maybe I should have just put my foot on the pedal and made sure of it and done it on the night, you know. But it's hindsight, isn't it, mate? You know, so. um, something everyone always sort of brings up, and I'm now trying to veer away from a little bit, but I will mm -hmm. touch on it. Everyone yeah. always sort of says, oh, look where Zafin's come from, look what he's achieving, da da da. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough, there's something that. At the start of your pro career, like, mm -hmm. is something that you can look back on. And yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Well done. Like, mm -hmm. give yourself a pat on the back. You're achieving a lot. But now, it's not about that anymore, is it? It's no, about what's not. in the future. It's about the titles that could come. Yeah. It's about the fights that could come. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Where do you see things going in 2016? Um, I'll fight whoever's put in front of me. Um, look to the same, the same as last year. To be honest with you, look to. Put a better performance on fight after fight. Look to step up my opponents fight after fight, and you know move on, progress. And uh, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I, I want a shot at the title. I'd love a shot at the title, but I'm not. I'm not quite. Just I'm just not quite ready for it yet. Um, I'm ready when Graham says I'm ready. He's my manager, and uh, obviously everybody else in the gym, John and Darren, they're, they're you know they're training me and stuff. So when they say I'm ready, I'll, I'll be ready. But you know inside, I, that's that's what I'm aiming for. That's what I want, and. Uh, I 100% believe I'm going to do it. 100, 100%. I, you know, I, I'm not going to be arrogant enough to say, sit here and be, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm the best of it. Not at all. That's not not about that. But I, I'll get there. 100%. I'll get there.
touching on someone you train with, you trained with for years, mm -hmm. um, you're now sharing the sharing the changing rooms with, mm -hmm. um, and his division is wide open. Yeah, Sam Sexton. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fury has now dethroned Klitschko. Yeah, he done brilliant. I didn't think he was going to win that fight, mate. I'll be, I'll be honest. I didn't think he was going to win it. Um, but he had perfect tactics from start to finish. He stuck by him. It was so, so, I thought it was such a disciplined performance by Fury. Um, from start to finish, he'd done exactly what he needed to do. And he, he, he didn't put foot wrong. You know, and he, fair play to him. Brilliant. And uh, yeah, what, what the heavyweight division looks, it's gone from looking a little bit dire and looking a little bit boring and yeah. just a bit flat to being such an exciting division. And uh, you know, let's face it, like, when them big guys go at it, it gets everyone on their feet. And uh, boxing fans and non-boxing fans watch that. And, uh, you know, and to have someone like Sam Sexton back on the rise, back sort of looking to get into contention with these guys, I mean, he, he could get him with any one of them boys and give him a, a real good fight, you know. There'd, there'd be mugs not to think so, you know. And um, like I, said, I, I, I don't know what his next moves are, but I'm, I'm sure he's looking at building up and getting to have one of them fights, you know. Something I was then going to lead on to. Mm -hmm. um, Anthony Joshua obviously beat Dylan White last night. Yeah, what a fight. <laughs> Joshua's fight. toughest test yet. 100%, um, yeah. Could have gone, gone either way, yeah. Um, Commonwealth champion. Yeah. Uh, WBC international, international champion. International, is it? Yeah, yeah. He um, he's already stated that he wants to win that British title outright. Yeah. Sam Sexton's dream is to uh, yeah. win the British chat, win the British title. Yeah. Do you see that on the horizon? Or? Well, he could do. I mean, it's not for me to say, but I mean, I, I, he could. I hundred percent could do. Um, he's a top level heavyweight. He's one of the top top heavyweights in Britain. So why not? I mean, he's. Oh, John, how you doing, mate? <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he's one of the top heavyweights in Britain. Joshua is British champion, so if he wants to defend that title, he's got to defend against the likes of Sam Sexton. Of course he has, so that'd be great to see him get the chance. Brilliant. Uh, 2016 is going to be a year booming in the Kickstop gym in Norwich. Yep. Um, many. Woo! We've got Darren Brown now coming out. Um, but yeah. Um, what can people expect to see from the gym as a whole in Norwich next year? Obviously well, I th start in March. Yeah, well, I think we had, well, I know we had a brilliant year last year. I mean, the kickstop has slowly but surely been building up for a little while now, and the stable of fighters in that gym is, well, to me, looking at it, I think to anyone in the country, that's phenomenal. Look at, look at the achievements by all the fighters in there, all the trainers in there. Brilliant, and they're still doing it. So next year, that'll be looking to build on that, looking to bring more into the gym. The likes of me who haven't got a title shot, looking to get title shots and win titles, and the like and for the likes of people who have got got their titles and got British titles and stuff like that to either defend them or go further and um, fight for Europeans or Worlds. Um, you know, we've got the level of fighters and the level of trainers here, so I'm sure they'll all be progressing, myself included, and uh, looking to really put knowledge on the map. Why not? I mean, the first show of the year next year is March the fourth. Um, that's what I'm looking for now. I'm ticking over at the minute. Don't get me wrong. Hard work still all the time, but I mean, as soon as the new year hits, that's when there's going to be blood, sweat and tears, and um, we'll be ready for we the show. We all know you enjoy Christmas. Love Christmas, mate. That's my um, favourite time of year. Are you, uh, are you, are you <laughs> trapped <laughs> in the fights, you know, that little bit further into the new year? Are you now going to enjoy Christmas? And uh... I'll enjoy Christmas, but look, I'm a professional fighter, and um, I'll remain professional at all times. You know, it's, <laughs> again, I know you said we touch on it and all the rest of it, but like I said, I always say it was my dream to be a professional fighter. I am a professional fighter now, so I'm not about to wreck it or start acting unprofessional. Um, I want to be the best I possibly can, so yeah, I'll enjoy Christmas. I'll spend a bit of time with my family, loving the bits. Uh, got my little ones running around like nutters. Um, it's training, just looking after them, running around after them too, I'm telling you. Um, spend a bit of time with my missus. I don't, I don't get a lot of time to spend with her, mate, you know, what, what with training and work, and she works nights and stuff, yeah. so, yeah, I'll enjoy Christmas, I'll enjoy the fact that I've got a bit of time with my family, um, but I'll still be training, you know, I'll be, I'll be training Christmas Eve, I'll, I'll have Christmas Day off, I'll be training Boxing Day, you know, it, it won't stop for me, I'll still be training, I'll still be getting up early in the morning for my runs, you know, I won't be drinking alcohol and all the rest of it, I'll have my Christmas dinner, you know, I'm not fighting in a month, you know, so <laughs> yeah. I'll have my Christmas dinner and enjoy a, a couple of pigs and blankets and all that, but, you know, um, as far as training goes, I'm not stopping, mate. You know, onwards up. There we go. Yeah. Well, follow the dream with Zayfam, really. Hundred um, percent. Can I just say, mate? I'd like to say thank you to everyone who supported me through 2015, right from the start, from 2014. But last year was a great year. We progressed a lot. Thanks so much for sticking by me. Um, literally couldn't do it without you. Um, I probably wouldn't want to do it without you all. Um, and all my sponsors. 
You can see there, Surrey Tavern, Alter Ego, Hair and Beauty, Bobby Dazza's Ultimate Fight Outlet, DSW, Fallen Angels, and Doors Plus, plus um, Norfolk Football, supplied all my gear. Thank you so much. Um, happy Christmas, and I'll see you in the new year. All the best to us all. Cheers. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Nice one. And see you again soon.